difference between internal tables and external tables. Okay, so just take one small diagram for this, uh, for finding the difference. <coughs> internal table and what external table if I am creating internal table that table will be stored in what slash user under that slash training under that we will be having one second one second one second not slash training slash high it is under that warehouse will be there under warehouse you will be having you know EMP table it's a directory when it is if I am going to create EMP table as what internal table when I am creating internal table that the table name is what EMP that table name will be created as a directory under what warehouse now if you are going to load data either from local version or from HDFS your data also will be taken into what this only just so that my file name is also EMP only but it is what file my file name is also what file only but it is what EMP is what file and that file is there in your EMP directory this directory is what table name this data is what I told you right bulk of data we are just trying to load at a time into that okay so this is actually file which is having data once you are loading that it is trying to keep that in what EMP table directly directory okay if I am going to take external table so how we have created that table create external table table name what is that table name EMPL EMPL but for that I have given some location right what is that location what is that location Durga slash Ram slash Durga slash Ram I have given not Durga not sl slash not Ram slash Durga slash Ram is different Durga slash Ram is different what is the difference you know if you are taking root okay so that Durga will be created under what root directory directly okay so here it is taking what slash Durga slash Ram okay slash Durga slash Ram that's it but under this Ram are we going to have that file I mean table name as a directory here EMPL it will never keep that directly in this Ram it is just trying to refer this location that's it your table name will be created I mean your table name will not be created and the directory will be created for that location and your table name is just trying to refer this location suppose sir how to load data for this external tables exactly same how you are loading your data into this internal tables same commands you can use load data local in path that path you can give into table name table table name for local file system from local file system if you wanted to load data from HDFS load data in path that path you can give into table table name so your data will be directly loaded into this RAM just so that here as I am giving EMP table only EMP file only but this is what file got the difference sir you are saying that EMPL table name will not be created as a directory but when you are loading some data into that table name why that table I mean why that uh, file is going to be directly stored in what Durga and RAM only because your table is referring this Durga and RAM with some external location got it because of that external command it is not going to create that table name as what directory name physically but still it is referring that location when you are keeping some when you are loading some data into that either from local file system or hdfs directly that data will be loaded into what ram now this is all what up to some extent of you know point observe here now if i am trying to drop this table can we drop table or not yes if i am going to drop internal table your table name will be deleted your table name will be deleted if table is going to be down if, if I mean if this directory is not there file also will be lost right or wrong if you are removing directory file also will be lost right so if I am going to drop that table name my directory will be removed so my file also will not be there file also will be removed but if I am going to drop my table EMPL 
if I'm going to drop table EMPL, as that EMPL is not there, your EMPL will be removed, dropped, but your file will be there itself. Safely your file will be there itself. Got it what I'm telling you? So, this is one thing. So, here data loss problem will not be there, but here data loss problem will be there. Right? And one more important point, just see this one, and then you can note down. And one more important point is, suppose if I'm going to keep another file into this, the same EMP directory. So that file also will be taken here. Just say that I am taking EMP1 this time. This is also what file. So if I am going to give select a star from EMP, it is just trying to display both tables data. Because how many files are there in this? Two files. If I am going to give 10 files, 10 files data will be shown for this EMP directory. If when you are giving select a star from EMP. But here, suppose if I am going to give EMP1 I am loading another file, EMP1, F file it is also. Now if I am going to give select a star from EMPL, is it going to show you both tables data as well? Exactly it is showing you both tables data. Right or wrong? Because it is referring this location only, right? In this RAM directory, whatever you may be having, all its data will be not displayed when you are giving select a star from that external table name. Fine. So if I am going to drop this table, these two files will be lost. But if I am going to drop the table, this file, two files will be there itself. There itself. So globally you can use any number of tables here. Okay. Sir, mine is what EMP table. But some other is there whose table name is what department table. Some relation will be there for EMP table and department table. You know that EMP table is having employee ID, employee name, employee department ID. Yes, department ID, department name is there in what department? If I wanted to get who are the employees working under some department name, then I have to give some query on what IDs of DIDs of what both tables. There should be some link in, in between both of them. Right or wrong? So if you wanted to give link, sir, I'm taking EMP table here. Okay, I'm taking EMP table here. In this EMP table, I have employees details, department details also. I have employees details as well as department details also. Somebody may be working with employee tables. Somebody may be working with what? Department tables. Okay. So, as I wanted to work with employee table, I can refer this table by creating some table by giving this location. Some other wanted to work with what? Department table. So, they can also refer this same table by creating their own table. Getting what I am telling you? Create external table, table name, DEPT, I am giving Okay, uh, row format delimited fields terminated by backslash t location Durga Ram. So whatever is there in that, everything will be referred by that table, that newly created table. So next time I am giving some employee table again. That for that employee table also I am just trying to create create external table table name. Okay, some schema I am giving row format delimited fields terminated to backslash d as well as I am giving location ram and durga only means what that table also can refer this one here one file can be referred by one table only but here one file can be referred by any number of tables that depends on your you know situation that's what what we are saying for global usage purpose you can happily use what external tables but not internal tables internal tables means what individual tables same thing like to say but external tables are what not like individual tables. These are all what? Different. So for global usage purpose only we are using external tables here. Okay. So this is the difference between internal table and external table.